That's right, my friend. Let me ask you, does a machine like yourself ever experience fear? <laughs> oh, yep, I'm recording now. What is up, everybody? It's me, Vincent SGN, and I am here in this finally here Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Alright, so let's get right into it. I am going to make my character. I had to make Vintage SGN off top. I was uh, online last night, we created my new channel art, and then when five minutes got there, me and a couple people were sitting in the party chat, we were just counting down the minutes, and then it finally came and I started making my character. I'm doing a little bit of talking to the person that I'm on the party chat with. It's iCanny from DCUO. Um, he got stuck at a part. It's, it's really funny. I, I passed it and I, he got stuck and he got frustrated and he just kind of rage quit off of it. But I don't know. You'll get it, man. It's, it's not that hard. You just have to figure out what to do. All right. So I made my character small because that's the type of character that I like to play. And I saw right away when I started the gameplay that a small character just doesn't look right. Like sitting behind, sitting beside Trunks or some of the other characters. So I may just recreate my character and give him a normal height. Um, these are all the eye styles and everything like that. I was purposely went in there with the express choice to get in the Android 17 hair because I like the Android 17 hair and I got it. And I think it's cool, but I've seen some people with spiky hair that looks cooler than that. Alright, uh, <clears throat> just doing this extra stuff here, creating my character. I was so excited at this part right here. I think I chose type 6 as my chin. Yeah, type 6. Type 6 looked the best to me. And then what is this? Ears? I couldn't even see my ears behind my hair, so if I change hair, I'll probably have some pretty busted ears. I have no idea. I might have like Namek ears or something like that. It's cool they got Goku back there. Yeah, I did the campaign um, all the way up until uh, the end of the Saiyan Saga. I guess. I'm, I'm about to start into the Frieza Saga whenever I start playing again after I finish uh, these videos that I'm going to put out. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's a lot of fun. This game is everything that I thought and hoped and expected it to be within the first, like, four hours. Of course, it's not DC Universe Online. We all know that. It's not that. It can never be that. Nothing It can ever be that. But this game is pretty damn good. It's enough to make me want to like play this instead of DCUO, and maybe because it's like a new game or whatever. But I'm I'm not going to be done with DCUO by no means. I I don't I don't like the people who try to compare the games. Like in trade chat yesterday before the game came out, people were saying that DCUO is better than Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is better than DCUO. You can't really. I mean, you shouldn't really have to compare games. Why? Why does it have to be either or? Why can't it be both? I'm done with character creation. All right, so let's see here. There's a lot of scenes that they don't want you to record. Like every so often, a little thing will pop up, like the beginning intro. Like I wanted to make an intro for the game, and they can't. You can't make the uh, the media. You can't use the beginning intro for the uh, the game. It won't let you. All right, so for those of you who don't have the game and don't care about a spoiler, this place is like a, I don't know, time Shinron, patrollers like area, whatever. And that's the dragon. You get summoned. Trunks makes a wish, and you get summoned to him. I guess he wishes for a strong warrior to help him fix the timelines or whatever. And I think it's actually pretty cool what they did with the storyline. Oh, um, let's. You're surprised, I'm sure. I'll have to explain it all to you later. For now, let's see how much power you have. Trunks is gonna get. He came at me with a sword. Win conditions, defeat trunks, lose conviction, run. Yeah. Come at me anytime. Oh my god, I just beat trunks down. Uh, I don't beat him, but there ain't really too much he can do. So my combo press X. Oh. 
Looks like the little warm-up is complete. Now, it's about time you showed me your full strength. Oh, I got something called Super Guard. Oh, I just finished strong. I got ranked S. You were chosen. Chosen by Shinron. All right, so I won't ruin everything for you, but that's just a little bit more that happens. You get told what the uh, actual storyline is. And I, like I said, I, I like what they did with the storyline. So this is an online fight. One of the first that I had. The first one that I, I got into online fight, I got destroyed because I was I really didn't know what I was doing. But uh, after, uh, I still don't know what I'm doing. But after a few uh, battles, you know, with people, um, yeah, started to be good. They have a little ping bar to let you know you know, who's got the better connection, who's got the worst connection. So you've got to really find the person with the best connection to fight, or else it's going to be sort of laggy, I guess. I haven't experienced it because I always pick people with green bars. I've gotten, like, beat. I think I've made them have, like, maybe six battles, and I've probably gotten beat, like, maybe four of them and maybe one, two. Well, technically three because my teammate was able to kill the other guy after I killed my guy and the other guy picked on me. It was this weird 2v2s. But yeah, this fighting is amazing. It's it's like DCUO on on freaking Super Coke, Super Meth. It's it's awesome. Look at this. Just the combat is so fantastic. Look, I'm getting beat the hell out of by this dude. But we pull off the W. Good times. All right, guys. I'll make more videos later. Until then, peace.